Hello friends, welcome to Math for Juniors with me Miss Marks and my assistant Snail. Snail, what are you busy with? Oh, uh, these marbles, aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are. Uh, will you share half of them with me? Half? Yes. Um, okay, I have 40 marbles, so in between two of us, it will be 20 each. Oh, you were quick with division of numbers, Snail. That's very good. But are you aware that polynomials can also be divided like numbers? But um, how? Let's learn that in the virtual world. Let's begin the module on division of polynomials with this illustration. A sports complex has a newly constructed swimming pool. This pool is cuboidal in shape. The amount of water that it can hold represents its volume or capacity. Volume of a cuboid can be computed by multiplying its length, width and height. Now, if just the volume and area of base is known, will it be possible to find the depth of water in the pool? Well, yes, by the division operation. But what if the exact numeric values of volume and area are not given? Instead, they are represented by an algebraic expression or polynomial. Then, can we still find the depth of water in the pool? Well, this can be accomplished only if we know how to divide polynomials. Let's find out about it in this module where we learn how to divide a monomial by another monomial how to divide a polynomial by a monomial and finally how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. Given the volume and area of the base of a pool, we can find its height if we know how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. To learn that, we first study how to divide one monomial by another monomial. We can divide two monomials in the same way as we divide numbers. We know that in numbers, division is the inverse operation of multiplication. The same holds good in case of algebraic expressions too. Let's consider two monomials, 4x and 3x square. Now 4x multiplied by 3x square gives 12x cube. Therefore, 12x cube divided by 4x equals 3x square. The division of the monomial 12x cube with 4x can even be accomplished by cancelling the common factors as we do in case of division of numbers. Let's see how. First, write the two monomials in irreducible factor forms. Now, cancel out the common factors from the numerator and denominator. We get 3 into x into x which is 3x square. The same result we got earlier. Now, let's take one more example. This time involving two variables. Let's divide minus 16x square y cube by 4xy. First, write the numerator and denominator as the product of irreducible factors. So, minus 16x square y cube is minus 1 into 2 multiplied by itself 4 times into x multiplied by itself twice into y multiplied by itself three times. And 4xy is equal to 2 into 2 into x into y. Now, cancelling the common factors, we get minus 2 into 2 into x into y into y, which is minus 4xy square. Welcome back to the real world, friends. So, Snail, did you understand the division of a monomial with a monomial? Oh, yes, Miss Marks. I understood it all. Are you sure? Yes, yes, Miss Marks. All right, then. We can now move on to the next level in division of polynomials. That is, division of a polynomial with a monomial. So, into the virtual world. 
let's consider the pool scenario where we are not given the exact values of volume and area. Instead, they are represented by algebraic expressions or polynomials. What will be the level of the water in the pool? Well, the level of the water in the pool can be obtained by dividing the volume by the area of the base. We see that it involves the division of a polynomial by a monomial. One way to carry out this division is to divide each term of polynomial in the numerator by the monomial in the denominator. This will involve the cancellation of common factors. Solving each division leads us to the desired answer. We get the level of water in the pool as 2x square plus 13xy plus 9y. Alternatively, we can divide a polynomial by a monomial by using the common factor method. Let's see this method with the help of an example. Let's divide the polynomial 8n raised to power 5 plus 12n raised to power 4 plus 10n squared by the monomial 2n squared. Hey! Can you see that we can separate 2n square as the common factor from the numerator which is same as the denominator? That makes the solving very easy. We get 2n square into 4n cube plus 6n square plus 5 whole divided by 2n square. Then by cancelling the common factor we get 4n cube plus 6n square plus 5 and that's the answer. I am really tired and hungry now. Hmm, Miss Marx is also not around. I think I should make most of it and quickly eat something. <laughs> Snail, where are you going? To eat something, huh? Uh, uh, actually, uh, today's session requires a lot of attention. I thought if I eat something, I will be able to focus better. No snail, no food allowed until we learn all about the division of polynomials. It's better you pay full attention or... Uh, 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 I will. Good. Now time to hit the virtual world. We can extend our understanding of division of a polynomial by a monomial to division of a polynomial by another polynomial. Wondering how? Let's see. Let's divide the polynomial 6y square plus 29y plus 35 with the polynomial 3y plus 7. We first factorize the numerator. The polynomial 6y square plus 29y plus 35 can be written as 6y square plus 14y plus 15y plus 35 by splitting its middle term. Now by grouping and taking common factors out, we get 2y plus 5 whole into 3y plus 7 whole. Now we can easily divide 2y plus 5 whole into 3y plus 7 whole with 3y plus 7 by cancelling the common factor. We get the answer as 2y plus 5. One point is important to note. Just like numbers, it's not necessary that two algebraic expressions or polynomials will always be completely divisible. It holds true only if one of them is a factor of the other. Back to the real world. Snail, do you want to get bald? Bald? Uh, no, uh, never. But you will get bald soon if you don't stop scratching your head like that. Um, oh. By the way, what were you thinking? Um, I was wondering uh, whether there are any uses of polynomials in our daily life. But I could not think of any. Well, don't worry, I'll tell you. So, in the Do You Know section. Polynomials help scientific calculators and computers to perform calculations using approximation that guide spaceships and aircrafts. 
Oh, that's unbelievable! You will be more surprised to know that polynomials are very useful even for doctors and nurses. Doctors use it to diagnose and treat conditions, while nurses and technicians use it to record medical reports and health information. Wow! I never imagined there is so much use of polynomials in real life. There's a lot more, but you need to grow up before you learn all that. I will be waiting. Time to refresh our memories. So let's hit the recap button and revise everything we have learned today on division of polynomials. In this module, we learned in the division of polynomial by monomial. Either each term of polynomial is divided by the monomial or common factor method is used. The division of a polynomial by polynomial is done by factorizing each term and cancelling the common factors. Uh, now I can finally eat something. <sighs> If only snail could ever change. <laughs> All right, but first say bye to our friends. Time for us to go, but you keep having fun with numbers. See you soon. Take care. Goodbye.